。学 IC 九三。Welcome everybody to Four Minute Fumble. We're gonna fumble in the jungle until we're humble. Can do this. We have had a very fun time eating and sleeping and training at home. I wanted to do this to bring some value to the community while we still can in some way. And we're gonna start with actually going through some very common question and answers. How do I start an ultimate frisbee team? And that's how you start. DC started in 2013. We somehow bought like this Wemo disc and we went to the field and then we just threw the Wemo disc. I think it was because we were watching, we watched the Brody Smith video. So we tossed the Wemo disc as far as we can and it was like, whoa, this is amazing. I think someone saw uh, our video of us throwing the, the Wemo disc around and they're like, oh, you all play Ultimate Frisbee? I was like, what's Ultimate Frisbee? And just like that, we just started to hang out and play Frisbee every Sunday. People ask, what does DC stand for? So DC stands for Disc Communities. When we started DC, our goal was really to focus on creating communities through sharing ultimate. So this has always been the goal from day one. We knew that we could do that because we're a bunch of noobs. So a bunch of noobs doing this, we can just bring the disc and, and share it with others. I think the, the fun thing about it was always the community building aspect. Even now when I look back at like my the best moments in Ultimate Frisbee, it was because it's it's not really because like we we focused on winning tournaments or or doing very well. The really good memories were because we set really small goals. We broke down the game into very small goals like throwing a better upline or making a better play. And because we were so crappy at throwing an upline or, or so crappy at, at running down like a good play, the moment we could do it, we celebrated like as if we won the Olympics. No, no, no. Last one, Ryan! How to? How to? Think about it, like... The joy is the same as winning the Olympics, but all we did was like throw one upline and, and score in an open side and we felt the same way. So if we can break down the game, the scrimmage into smaller bite-sized things that you can perfect, work on and perfect, I think building on that, that really helps us to elevate the game much faster and that will prevent us from being burnt out and depressed. <laughs> 